Outrocast. How's your day going aside from answering the same questions over and over and over again from media people? <laughs> How's my day? No, I've just I've just started that actually. My day has been great. I, I started my day today at five in the morning, like on the dot. I think I woke up before my alarm, uh, which is great. And then and it wasn't one of those like, you know, oh, my God, I'm late moments. It was just like a peaceful I'm awake before the sun. Um, and I did my two hours of practice and, and I'm also, I'm in intensive, in an intensive training period right now. Um, and I'm prepping for some shows actually back in Australia. Um, so I had some, some study to do, uh, and now I get to round out my day here with you. So it's, it's been a good one. <laughs> Most actresses, when they do a film that has dancing they're just doing the six weeks intensive kind of training thing and then they stop dancing in your case you're a dancer who also excels in acting when did you kind of realize that you could have the dual careers um it, yeah i i don't know that i really um it was ever like a realization. It was, it was just kind of, I think it's more of an exploration. I, from a young age, I've enjoyed also, I, you know, my first language I like to say is dance because my mom was my dance teacher growing up. Mm -hmm. um, and I come from a few generations of dancers, my great grandparents uh, through me. And we have, that's kind of the family business as well. They have a, a dance studio in New Mexico. So that's where I started. And then um and took singing lessons and piano lessons and all those types of things and I was like oh there's so many ways that you can create and express and so uh that's always been kind of my main drive is just trying many different things out <laughs> are you the first family member in that dance dynasty that has the endorsement because I know that you work with MDM shapewear Oh yeah, um, <laughs> I'm the first one in, in my lineage, yes, to work with MDM specifically. <laughs> there you go. So was this a particularly difficult film for you to make? Uh, in talking with one of your co-stars earlier, it sounds like it was made around two years ago, but everyone loved each other on set. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I Everyone got along great. Uh, I don't think there were any blowouts that <laughs> stand out in mind we were actually like we were dealing with a lot of um a lot at least a lot of the scenes that I was in it was a lot of heavy material but um we were always having a ton of fun there was also a lot of goofy scenes as well which were just great I always looked forward to those moments and a lot of uh goofy things I was able to be in with Lauren specifically so we <laughs> always had a lot of fun when we were able to work together on those days Lauren, her specialty besides acting and producing is Pilates. Have you ever gone into that uh, genre? No, not Pilates specifically. I mean, I've done a couple of like reformer things, like a couple of classes, but honestly, it's really hard. And I like hard things, but not, <laughs> but very specific hard things, <laughs> you know? So uh, Pilates has never really been my thing, but I have taken, I've worked out with her before. We've done, um, I've asked, actually asked her to train me sometimes because she's very good with things that I'm not good at, like lifting weights. And like, she's very, uh, she, she's so well-versed and, and she's such a good trainer. So when I visit her in LA a couple of times, I've been like, can you please just like whip me into shape? Um, but yeah, I mean, she kind of goes too hard for me. <laughs> you mentioned before getting up at 5 a.m. earlier. Is that the normal get up time or that's just when you're more intense training mode? Yeah, that's that's not really. I mean, I I try to make it the norm because I like a routine, but I I travel a lot for work, so that can't always be the norm. Right now, it is because I I specifically set out um three weeks right now to like a kind of capsule to really get in shape for a series of shows I'm about to be doing, and I'm studying something new as well. So it just kind of helps me get into this rhythm, uh, which I find is is really good when I can just, because I am a freelance artist, so I need to structure my own days. Otherwise, you know, no one's going to do it. So <laughs> I have to kind of uh, 
set out something that I can follow and be a little bit self-disciplined. So uh, that just, when I start my day like that, that just kind of helps me stay on track. <laughs> now, sometimes IMDB doesn't have everybody's full credits or there's errors or that kind of a thing. Is production in your future? Because you obviously know how things are made. You know the logistics, you have the discipline, but I'm sure at a certain point, you're going to want to just tell everybody else to do all the hard work. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, I always like, um, yeah, I don't know. It's funny because I, I really like having having a voice in the space. But anytime that someone else is there leading, I'm like, you go. You know, I don't know if I really want that position yet or feel ready to accept that responsibility. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe I would love to like apprentice uh, some people in in different production roles and we'll see. But I mean, it's a very tough job. I really admire the people that that do it. <laughs> Me too. Well, two quick questions and then I'll let you go. And the, the first one is, is there still a group thread related to this film, meaning a text thread that's still going that never ended? And that's how you know whether or not everyone loved each other. That is that's such a good question. Actually, no, uh, I don't think we ever had like a, a legit maybe like WhatsApp chat or iMessage chat. I don't think we ever made that. But I mean, we have all, all our personal, con luckily I, I still keep in touch with uh, so many people from and constantly, you know, Joel and, and Lauren and all my co-leads, we still talk very regularly. So I'm I'm grateful that they still pick up the phone or answer my texts. <laughs> there you go. I'm glad to hear that much. And last question before I let you go. What's the last concert that you went to? And I'm wondering if I'm going to get a unique answer on this one, because somebody who gets up at five in the morning is not going to wait for that band to go on stage at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. So you might tell me I haven't been to a concert in eight years. Yeah, actually, I so it's funny because I, I actually don't think I, I the last time I went to a music festival, um, I got very sick. That was back in March. And I got so I don't know if this is a great story to tell, but I'm going to say it anyway. So I got E. coli. I was in Costa Rica and there there was some sort of like contamination situation situation that happened there. So I got so sick. I got like a kidney infection. And so that really turned me off of like going out anywhere for a long time time so I didn't I was I was like I'll just forget that for a while and I'll this is why I don't go out kind of thing and uh and just a couple weeks ago I was I was training in Amsterdam and a few friends um invited me to go out to see some DJ I don't listen to really a, a lot of electronic music but they all were very much into it and I was like I'll go like try and contribute to the vibe. Um, I probably stayed out for like two hours. I was the first to leave for sure. Everyone else was still in there. And I was like, good night. I have class in the morning, but I showed up, you know, I tried. Um, so yeah, that was the most recent, just a couple of weeks ago. And I was still like in bed by midnight. I was very happy. <laughs> you get it done when you set your mind to it, but congratulations on the red shoes next step and looking forward to whatever <laughs> is coming next and stay away from the concerts if you can, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Outro cast.